So one of the biggest frustrations uh, that we've had working on a dragon named Cole with Impact.js has been that the editor, Waltmeister, uh, doesn't allow you to select individual entities. So in the game, we actually need to be able to do this. For example, when I click uh, one of these creatures here, which is a vulture, and I try to move and edit it, you can see I can only move one. Now, I can't go in here and click and drag and try to get multiples of these guys. You just can't do it. So what we did is we went in, I kind of uh, wrote a plugin for Waltmeister. It was a little bit hacky, it was kind of quick code, but it works pretty well and it's stable and I've got all the bugs out of it as far as I know. And you can hold down shift, which is what I'm doing right now, and I can click and drag now. And there we go. I've selected multiple entities. And then two, if I want to, if I don't like the selection, I can go here. You can also hold down shift and click and we'll add or unadd these guys. I want to do individual ones. Pretty cool. So now move these guys around here. And it also uh, works pretty well in general with the API. So I can also to undo, redo this. So if I hit Z here, it'll undo all those back to the original stages they were at. Um, when you save the data and everything, the plugin works really, really well. Um, doesn't need it because we were running in this big problem where we were getting into these maps and we had like all these entities bunched up like this and we didn't want to have to go through and manually move every single one. Um, it's already saved us a ton of time uh, just working on a few maps, being able to select everything and just move it back to where it was if we have to edit some of the uh, pixel art that we have. So you may need this in your project. If you do, I'll give you some instructions here on how to set it up. The first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to have to enable Waltmeister, the editor for Impact.js. You're going to have to enable plugins. Uh, what that means is you're going to want to go here to this article, uh, Impact.js forums code Waltmeister plugins uh, setting a standard. And Drave has written this great article on how with just a couple lines of code and, and I think one or two files, you can get Waltmeister supporting plugins. Uh, just like the Impact.js core actually supports them. Um, there's some various information here, pl other plugins other people have posted, uh, some great info. This is really, really highly recommended and absolutely essential stuff. It shouldn't take too long once you've read through it. The next thing that you're going to need to do is I have a gist for this file. Let me get it real quick. And you're gonna to want to grab, go over here. This URL. Grab the gist and copy and paste it into a file in your plugins. So in Impact.js, you should have a plugins folder. I put it in a folder called then in a subfolder called editor. And as you can see here, I have this entity select, which is what I'm using right now and showing you here. So once you've added that in the folder, you'll then need to go into the lo loader script uh, for Waltmeister, and you'll need to add it here in the requires. So that way it gets loaded in before uh, the editor actually loads up. So that should do the trick for you. Uh, like I said earlier, the code is a little bit meh on this. I wrote it pretty fast. Um, there aren't any bugs to my knowledge. If you find any, just let me know. Uh, it is actually expandable. You could go through this and add, add a uh, bunch of functionality to do different things, such as uh, editing properties um, or multiple bulk editing properties for entities. You could go into and add algorithms that go through and take the entire group selection and maybe sort them or distribute them evenly. Uh, all kinds of different things you can do with this. And it's pretty simple and fairly expandable. Hopefully the Impact.js 2 uh, comes out and solves all these problems of being able to select multiple entities. Uh, but for now, this is a pretty good solution, I feel. And yeah, let me know if you have any questions or need any help with anything. Thanks.